Okay, why Windows users can't switch to Linux for this year? All right, so if you search YouTube, why Linux sucks, we have Linus Torvalds on why desktop Linux sucks. And Linus is probably considered the father of Linux, or at least the father of modern day Linux. Yeah, so we can go scroll down here to uh, Linux sucks for 2024. Don't switch to Linux, it sucks for most people. Why Linux sucks, my top five reasons and why Linux sucks. Linux sucks, sucks, hey, there's a good one. There's a lot. If you switch to why Windows sucks, Microsoft sucks at everything. Windows 11 sucks. Uh, Windows eats corn the long way. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. All right, these are my reasons why Windows users can't switch to Linux. Confusion on YouTube, bad advice, I just showed you. Well, that's why I'm here. I still use Windows 11 on 10-year-old plus machines. Not recommended to use Windows 11 on 10-year-old plus machines, but I got it to work. So. I get it, you, you was given bad advice, maybe for you it was rough in the past, but times have changed. Linux is slow, it's too slow. All right, some Linux is too slow, some. Most of it probably isn't. For example, here I use Ubuntu, okay, Ubuntu is a bad example, but most Linux is not too slow. Software compatibility. Many popular Windows programs, such as graphic design, video editing, business applications, and more, lack direct Linux counterparts, forcing users to find alter alternative software or potentially adapt to different workflows. I think times have changed. I like to change the word many to some. I'll give you that some, maybe pieces of software you need, say for work or school or not in Linux. All right, uh, user interface differences. Linux distributions have distinct desktop GUIs, graphic user interfaces compared to Windows, requiring users to learn new navigation layouts. I'll give you that. There are hundreds and hundreds of them, but have you tried Linux Mint, Zorn OS, Chrome OS Flex? Not to be confused with Chromebooks, by the way, and there's more than this, but times have changed. It really isn't that hard. Last but not least, the command line, the dreaded terminal. All right, look, my favorite terminal is the Orlando International Airport. Unless you get a Chromebook, I really cannot promise you you will never have to use some terminal commands, some. All right, if I missed anything, please do let me know. And if you have switched to Linux, let me know too. I'm curious which one and how you did it. Good luck and take care.